These rare freshwater dolphins known for their striking pink color are only found in the rivers of South America. But climate change and drought are threatening the species. Now a team of scientists in Brazil are studying the Amazon River dolphin in the hopes of learning exactly how extreme conditions are changing their behavior. 2023 marked the longest drought in the Amazon rainforest's recorded history. Nearly 300 of the dolphins died, with most of them in Brazil's Lake Tefe. Researchers believe low water levels during the drought led to high temperatures not suited for the dolphins. Lake Tefe reached 102 degrees Fahrenheit last September. It's now at 86 Fahrenheit, said a geosciences researcher at the Mamarau Institute. And slow reproductive cycles make their populations especially vulnerable to threats. A team of biologists, vets and fishermen recently caught a female dolphin in Lake Tefe to gather more information. They brought it ashore for blood tests and to insert a microchip to study the dolphin's behavior after being returned to the lake. Here's veterinarian Thais Carnero Santos Rodriguez. This time we're aiming to place some satellite tracking tags that will not only show us the movement of these animals during the dry season, but will also be able to measure the temperature of the water and the depth at which these animals are. So this will show us how they behave during drought and how drought and climate change can alter the normal movements of these animals. Environmental activists have blamed the unusual conditions on climate change, which makes droughts and heat waves more likely and severe. Global warming's role in last year's Amazon drought is unclear, with other factors such as El Nino at play. Miriam Marmentel is the project's head with the Mamarau Institute of Sustainable Development. She says studying the dolphins will reveal whether the impacts were due to temperature, pollutants or a combination of issues.